Okay, so let us understand what exactly is Vagrant. Now, uh, whenever you provision a system, how do you do it? So what you do is you go inside, uh, you inside go virtual manager, virtual box manager, Oracle virtual box, uh, what you can say. And then you just click over something, uh, you give storage, you give VM name, and then you do it. So that's one of the ways of doing it. But as a DevOps engineer, I think you should learn automation. There are multiple ways to do it. There are multiple providers to do it. But in this video, in this particular course, we are going to use Vagrant for now. So let us talk about what exactly is Vagrant. So consider, for instance, there is something known as VM. Okay. Now this VM is what we have created through multiple things. Okay. So let me consider three things over here. So one could be something which is created through Oracle Virtual Box. Okay. Uh, I'll write it something like this so that you cannot forget it. And then something you have created by VMware. So VMware is another way to do it. Okay. And then there is another way you, you have some, some AWS, uh, not AWS, you can have OpenStack. OpenStack you have. So there are other ways. So this is VM. This is also a VM. I'll just give it VM2. I'll just give VM3 or I'll just give this VM1. Okay. So these are the VMs that you guys need to create. Now in this course, what we have to do? we have to create a few VMs because in this course, what we are going to do is we're going to create a VM for our application. Okay. We're going to do it for our web. Uh, we're going to do our sorry for, for memcache. Okay. We are going to do for DB as well. Okay. And so on and so forth. We're going to do that. But if we start doing it manually, uh, it'll just delay down the process. So for that, we have something known as Vagrant. So I'll just write it over here. So let's say we have Vagrant for that. Okay. Please don't mind my handwriting because it's kind of tough to write with this pen. Okay. So in this Vagrant, there is something known as Vagrant file. Okay. And this Vagrant file has all the information of all the VMs that we are going to create. So if there would be a VM one, then it would contain the OS, what OS we are going to use. It would contain what, are, what is the image that we are going to use? It would contain the RAM. It would contain the storage and so on and so forth for VM1. Similarly for VM2 and similarly for VM3 and so on and so forth. Depends on the number of VMs that you guys want to create. Okay, so this is a Vagrant file. So this is one of the important things. So I'll just mark it in red. One of the important things that we are going to discuss today as well. I'll show you an example so that uh, it you doesn't there is some retention. You doesn't lose the concept. Okay. Now what happens is when, when you type a command vagrant up, I'll show you that vagrant up. If you remember in the past video, we have already installed it vagrant up. It will start reading this file, this vagrant file and start spinning the VM. Whatever the information is written in this file, it gets translated. Thus it creates the VM. So for example, it will create the VM. So let's say we have given three information. In Oracle VirtualBox, uh, let me close this. Let me close this. So it will start creating the VMs out of your Vagrant file. Now, this is something known as uh, this is a Vagrant file. So it, Oracle VirtualBox is a default provider for this Vagrant. Uh, you can use VMware as well. You can use OpenStack, AWS, Azure Cloud as well. But by default, it is Oracle VirtualBox, and we are going to use that only in that in in this course. Okay, so what the, what happens is Vagrant, this Vagrant talks to the, talks to these VM, okay, talks to these VM, which VMs, these VMs, this VM and this VM. So all the VMs, Vagrant is going to talk to the VM and what does it do? It uses API, these VM exposes. So whatever these VMs we have created, this one VM, second VM and third VM, they are going to expose some kind of. APIs. So these VMs will expose some APIs. So you need to keep that in keep that in mind. Expose some APIs, and through those APIs, Vagrant is going to talk to these VMs. So do not worry about it. You just have to install VM uh, Vagrant, and then you have to write a file. 